there's a little magic rainbow in the sky. I was trying to do a live stream, but for some reason it wasn't working, and it took like five minutes, and now it's almost gone. But it was super bright, one of the biggest, brightest uh, rainbow spots I've probably seen. But uh, today's a bad day. I mean, just look at this. Just blasted. Absolutely blasted today. Every minute there's a plane flying overhead, if not two. Look at this. And look at how the lines go into there. Those two lines go into there. That one I showed. That line there goes into there. That line there goes into there. That line there goes into there. Look at that. 100% strong correlation of resembling from that to that. It's like eight of them. You can't deny that. What's ridiculous is our government or controlled opposition geoengineering has gotten so many people to think this is a good thing. It, it's helping us. I've seen so many people saying it and so many people putting it in comments. Oh, if you knew how bad the, the UV was and how intense the UV and radiation is, you, you'd realize that they're doing it to, to help, help lower the UV levels. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that they're doing it. They're helping. I don't think so. It's, it's pretty sad that it's come to the level that people are actually thinking that this is being done to, uh, to help with the problem of high UV. Uh, if anyone would look into it a little deeper, you'd realize that not only is there the crazy climate fluctuation, climate change, global warming, global cooling, whatever you want to say, not only is there that from all of this going on, but that exact problem of the UV being so high is because of this. I mean, it may bring the UV down one day or for the day that they're spraying, but the end result long term is the UV is skyrocketed insane levels because of this. And people need to realize that. <clears throat> Look at that right above the rainbow spot, another 90 degree turn right there. See it? Right there. But yeah, people need to realize that it is high because of this. This is, say uh, we got a high, <clears throat> high radiation day and they just smoke out the whole sky. Now, obviously, the, obviously the radiation is going to go down a little bit because of uh, the sun being blocked. But it's just a band-aid fix because the overall end result at the end of the day is all of this is causing it to go up, causing all the problems. It's eating away at the ozone and reflecting all of it back to the sun. You know, no shit. Obviously something's going to act up when you do that. Put stuff out that eats up the ozone and then mirror and reflect back a bunch of light to the sun, you know? You don't think it's going to heat up and, and cause a reaction? 
what would happen if, you know, there's a massive beam of sunlight and it gets mirrored back pointing to you, you know, obviously you're going to have an effect and it's going to change the outcome. They're, they're actually spraying right now really, really high, way up there. See that guy? They're way up there. But that's, that's the problem with it. They're all over. The whole army is out today. And they're really pounding the west hard. There's a lot of planes going over there. And you can't even see them because there's just so much junk in the air. Probably three or four flying back and forth. But that's the problem. It's the... The UV is high because of this, and people need to realize it, not think that they're helping. It's a short-term short solution, long-term problem is what it's doing. There goes another. So aside from the global warming, climate change, and high UV, what people need to realize is not only is it all a hoax, but Earth, Mother Nature, is a self-sustaining uh, ecosystem. Yeah, there may be a little bit of change from humans, but it automatically will naturally adjust itself back out to its organic state of what it was meant to be, to adjust itself to equilibrium, to homeostasis. It's a fact. If there's something that's out of whack and off, it will overcompensate one or two things until it adjusts itself back to its natural equilibrium state. And that's something a lot of people don't realize or think of. And the reason why there's all these problems and they just continue is because of this all of this if you can continue consistently throwing something off like this it's going to continue to to get worse or continue or exacerbate the problems think about if you get a cut right your body naturally heals up makes a scab and heals up okay so you have a cut and it's starting to scab over and heal but then you keep poking and picking and peeling the scab off right it's exactly what all of this is, the same exact effect. They stop spraying and earth starts to heal itself back up. And then they go and peel the scab right off of Mother Nature healing itself. It's a full balanced ecosystem. If one or two things gets thrown off, it causes a domino effect and everything goes off. Or you pull a, a certain square out of the pyramid and it collapses. Everything is relied on another, and they all work together. And this is just continuing to keep the pyramid crumbling, the dominoes falling. It's as simple as that. That's all there is to it. I don't know how else to, uh, to explain it. Um, not only is Mother Nature repair and heal itself uh, it has defense mechanisms and you know there could be defense mechanisms uh, against what all this is going on reactions that the earth is having um, just like I tell people um, like a tree right if <clears throat> you poke a tree or, or you know cut a, a notch into a tree a tree is gonna ooze out sap right well that sap is its defense mechanism to heal itself. It, you know, seals the wound and allows so there's not, um, you know, in, infection or bacteria that gets in there or, or something, you know, some fungus or something starts growing. Or if it's a bug, it's to, you know, back out the bug and get the bug to, to go away. It's, uh, it's as simple as that. Everything in Earth has... 
uh, its own defense mechanism and its own ability to heal itself. And that's it. That's the answer. That's the answer to all this. It's quite simple. I mean, I could go on about it for days, especially with having a, a big background in, in plant science and in agriculture. Um, same thing with like a, a piece of fruit. If a bug probes it, the, the fruit, you know, oozes out a little thing of, uh, of kind of juice or sap to, to, you know, keep the bug from getting in or doing more damage. Everything's alive. Mother Earth's alive. She's trying to heal herself. And these bastards keep picking the scab open. <laughs>